hot summer Palm Springs day. Time for a little amp draw comparison. Well, I've got an AC here that's been throwing the breakers and wanted to come and check it out here. And uh, I don't like how those are touching there. But just wanted to take a reading or an amp draw reading to see uh, what's going on here. Um, contactor's not sucked in. So. Terminal could be replaced on that red run wire. That looks a little suspect there at the bottom right here. But it's still alive. Also, I could separate that black wire a little bit. And what I was curious about is my is my camera. I want to see how many. Go ahead and push the contactor in and hold it in and we'll see what it is. Get high amp draw, 16, 16.4, 16.5. And it should start to drop off a little bit. Now normal would be about 12 and a half, 12.5. So it seems like we're pretty high there. About 15 amps. So that could be causing the, uh, the breaker to go. Line's nice and cold. Uh, of course, the unit inside isn't removing uh, heat, so of course it's going to get really cold here. But um, that's that there. Um, yeah, I'll just compare it with the data plate, see what our amp draw should be, and go from there. Uh, problem is, the unit's so old that the uh, data plate's like completely gone. So, probably just need to Google uh, what is the typical amp draw. And the other thing I could do is measure another unit just to get a comparison. I've got one right next to it. I think I'll pick one that doesn't have an Edison box on it though. So let me do that here. One right here. The other thing on that one was that one red wire could be replaced, the terminal. Yeah, a representative. 
still on what amp draw would normally be. Okay. Since I didn't have my data plate, I couldn't read any of these data plates. Let's do a comparison. I'm gonna clamp in on only one wire. Wow. This one's only showing 9.5. You can see it's a different style compressor. I'm gonna try it on the red run wire. Yeah. So uh, definitely a lot lower amp draw. And I think that's what's causing our problem there is that is that high amp draw drawing so many amps and then it's overloading the circuit. It is on a 30 amp breaker, so even at 16 and a half amps, that's still not necessarily enough to blow it. But most of the breakers are they're generally only running at about half capacity, I guess, as well. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, let's see if there's another one I can test. Okay, I have this puppy right here. Point 0.6. Yeah, we definitely have way high amp draw on that first one. So, I was considering replacing the unit. Probably a good idea. All right, a good old Palm Springs day. Dare try one more. Let's take another hand draw reading on this one. So I had one unit at 16 and a half. One kind of trouble unit at uh, 12 and a half. This one, seven point six on our amp draw. Now, of course, when it first starts up, it's going to have higher amp draw and then drop down. But this just gives an idea of running, you know, what our amp draw is while the unit's running. So I think it'd be a good idea to replace that other unit. And in fact, that's what I'm going to recommend. It's got so many different things going on. Got a new unit would be good. All right. Anyway, that's testing the amp draw. Okay, just gonna give this one more go here. Test it out here. Looking at all these well jobs, all these different joints. Yeah. 
all right get a new one get it done i uh, i would say you know replace the compressor but given everything that's going on look it doesn't even have service valves anymore they've been taken out it's time for me in it things squeeze down here and run kind of funky all right i'll get it changed out Okay, so finally the unit turned on on its own, so... What we do is clamp just one wire, and I, I really like to use the black wire, the uh, common wire for the compressor. So, I'm going to reach it through and clamp it. And we're showing 14, 15 amps. That's pretty high. wire and you only want to clamp one wire when testing the amp drop so yeah it's still getting 14 almost 15 amps if you clamp more than one wire it can mess up your uh, gauges fan motor getting less than two amps I'm gonna recommend a replacement on this unit because of the high amp draw and then also it's just a it's not a clean compressor change out here it's seen worse but definitely seen better and uh, also the service valves are gone missing fan motors bouncing around a bit sounds like it, it's hitting the baffle but yeah I'm gonna recommend a new unit here get it going It is cold and it is working, but I think it's just going to keep tripping the breaker or blowing the fuses. Eventually, it's been intermittently doing that. <laughs> 